Hey guys, Spiritual Whistleblower here. Um, I'm ready to set it off. As you all know, June next month, I am launching my second national tour where I will be going around the United States. I will be holding narcissistic abuse support group meetups. In other words, domestic violence, if you're a victim of domestic violence or narcissistic abuse, these workshops are for you, male and female. Um, geez, it's crack time, it's, it's, it's down to the wire. So I gotta get these promo videos out. Um, the dates, when I call your city and state out for the month of June, if you are definitely going to go, I need you to L, uh, email me, excuse me, email me your RSVP. Yes, you can bring guests. Okay, so um, my books will all be for sale. I will be doing a book signing, podcast taping, okay, um, photos, all of that. We're going to have some very in-depth conversations that, that, are long overdue um, and we're gonna walk away with solutions what you can do in your own communities to bring awareness to narcissistic abuse uh, you guys do know that June 1st is worldwide narcissistic abuse awareness day so um, it's great that everything is getting out there but like I said all my books will be there if you want to purchase uh, for me to autograph also I will be selling my whistles these are rape whistles, okay? This is not a gimmick. These are life-saving whistles. Um, specifically more uh, for ladies and children. I, I've had testimonies. Um, one of my former um, moderators, she purchased one for herself. She had put it on her key ring. And it just so happens her husband was putting, he, he was beating her. And she has a younger son um, he panicked, but he, he knew that his mom had my whistle on her key ring. So he went and grabbed the whistle while his father was beating on his mother. And he blew the whistle to get the, the neighbor's attention. And a neighbor ended up calling the police who then came and, and um, you know, they saved the day because there's no telling, you know. And she was pregnant when he was beating on her. That was the very sickening part. So these are rape whistles. They are for children, um, women, college age, high school, you know, put ch young children, put these on, on their key rings and teach them if anyone's bullying or harassing them to blow the whistle and go get help, okay? These will be on sale. And my cards, this is, these are the big ones. Everyone is waiting for me to sell these on the market. They'll be available May 31st. Yes, uh, pre-sale will be May 15th, mid-May. I will put that info out. These will be available for purchase also at, at um, these events, my book signing. Okay, guys? So I'm going to list the dates, and then I'm going to get into the topic of this video. This video is for my men. Ladies, you're welcome to listen in. Uh, if you have any sons, nephews, any males in your family that, that could benefit from learning about female narcissism, tell them to watch the video. Um, so in June, here are the dates and the cities I will be visiting. I need y'all to listen up and I need you to email me if you know for sure that you will attend. Uh, June 3rd and 4th, I will be in Charlotte, North Carolina. That's June 3rd and 4th. I'll be in Charlotte, North Carolina. June 5th, and 6th, June 5th, I'll be in Greenville, South Carolina. June 6th, I'll be in Charleston, South Carolina. June 5th is Greenville, South Carolina. June 6th, Charleston, South Carolina. June 11th is the big party in Atlanta. I have a private lounge uh, booked. Uh, we got a DJ, hookah lounge. They serve food. There's a bar live podcast taping dancing um we're gonna have a good time so atlanta georgia a lot of people have already um booked their reservation uh for this specific event it's going to be lit atlanta showed me a lot of love last year i had a large group last year so i'm looking to double that group in size this year friday june 11 7 p.m to midnight the club owner told me he'll keep it open past 
uh, midnight to 2 a.m. So you guys want to have a good time and have a, a great group conversation about narc abuse and drink and eat and party with the DJ and take pictures with me and sign the book. Atlanta, Georgia, Friday, June 11th, okay? RSVP. Uh, June 13th through the 15th, I will be in Tennessee. June 17th through the 19th, I will be in Orlando, Florida and Miami, right on the beachfront like I did last year. June 17th through the 19th, Orlando and Miami, okay? I will post the, the cities and the dates and my email down below. Get at me, y'all. It's crunch time. So now I want to talk about... <laughs> Here we go, here we go. Fellas, this is my book, Go to Hell Jezebel. This is a book for men. How to identify a female narcissist, a male's guide. Um, we can discuss every chapter. I could do several videos on a female narcissist, female sociopath. They are worse than the male, in my opinion. They're more calculated, more strategic, more money hungry, more vicious, more backstabbing, very jealous, envious creatures. Uh, fellas, I want to say in this video, I will be doing a barbershop national tour where I will be popping up at different barbershops across the nation to hold these discussions. Um, hit me up. Let's do it. Um, fellas, I want to say, how do you target? How do you figure out she's a female narc? It's very difficult. Covert narcs are, are very, you know, because fellas, you guys are visual creatures. You guys get caught up with, with vi uh, the visual how beautiful she is, how, how big her breasts are, her cleavage, her hips, her thighs, her ass. You be looking how good she look at her dress, her tight dress. You overlook all that stuff because you're caught up with the beauty. And that is what's getting you fucked up. I know she is highly attractive, but you got to pump the brakes, okay? What one of the things you have to do, and there's many things I've listed in the book, but I want to talk about one specifically in this video. You got to get to know her mother. And why do I say that? And I mean this before you you sleep with her and get deeply involved. And you need you need to build a friendship, a very solid friendship. You know, um, that's kind of hard for men. Though men are so horny all the time, they just want to sleep with any and everything. You get to know her mother. It it should tell you everything you need to know prior. Uh, if her mother is flirtatious with you, if her mother is like, um, has like a gold digger vibe, her mom is materialistic, her mother, you know, she might go to church, but when you see her go to church, it's all about dressing fancy, and she's just very vain, or she has multiple boyfriends, or, you know, or, if, you know, the lady that, the, the woman you're interested in, if she talks about her mother being a mess, you better, those are red flags. Mom is a narcissist. Uh, if her mother is a narcissist, and, and remember, I said flirt, because these types of women will flirt with their daughter's boyfriends. They're very bold, these types of women. Um, that's a red flag because what that means, if her mother's a narcissist, it means that she has trained her daughter to be a predator. She's either, it's two situations. She's either trained her daughter, you know, to take abuse from abusers. She, she abuses her daughter, competes with her daughter. She's jealous of her daughter. And her daughter has low self-esteem because of it. So her daughter is an easy target for predators like herself. Or there's the other case scenario where she has trained her daughter to be a pimp and a predator to go out and prey on good men and take their money and trap them. Trap them with a baby, you know, get them for their money. So mom is a pimp and she has taught her narcissistic daughter how to pimp out men too and become a predator. So it's really the key, you know, that toxic femininity, the female narcissist, it starts at home. Her mama, get to know that mama. If that mama is a mess, if she's a partier, or if she's a religious, she could be, she could be a, a church going bitch. Like she's a, she's a goody two shoes, but you got to watch for behavioral patterns where the mother is, is inconsistent. See, she's going to be on her best be behavior when she meets you in the beginning. 
Hi, son. Oh, isn't he handsome? What do you do for a living? Mom is going to be checking to see what you do for a living, what type of car you drive, because mom is materialistic. And trust me, she's trained her narcissistic daughter how to be just as materialistic. And this is where men get caught up, uh, trapping. You know, they get trapped. Now there's a baby involved. And she didn't took the baby and hitting your pockets up for child support. Her mother taught her well. Her mama taught her well. So in the beginning, if it, you know, I know she's very attractive, but if you if you get to know her mama, it should tell you a lot and help you with your discernment when when determining what type of woman she is. She's she's either going to be super empathetic because her mother has damaged her beyond repair and wants to kill her self-esteem because her mom is jealous of her or she's going to be a predator herself and a gold digger because her mom has trained her to be a pimp and a predator so meet the mama first and you can make better decisions before jumping in too deep uh with this beautiful woman who you uh set eyes out for you know uh beauty skin deep but you you want to be with a woman that has integrity a high moral compass, high standards, and you know, she's nothing like her trifling mama. You understand? So, you guys, this is my book for the fellas. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you guys in June. Let's kick off this national tour and get out here and let's talk narc abuse. I love you guys. Take care.